Today is the final installment of the troubleshooting and fixing of this uh, Kenmore Elite Model 790 stove. Uh, as the previous videos indicate, the lower element is out and uh, I ordered one, got it. It was destroyed in shipping, got a replacement. It came in today. Today's news was slightly better. <laughs> It came in, this piece was out, uh, this, this border piece around the edge is cracked. It's the thing, basically, it's underpacked. It was just, the, the box was not up to the task. Um, it does appear to have continuity. I'm going to test it to make sure that the element itself is okay. I think mechanically, electrically, it'll be okay. Once I put it in place, I don't expect these to wiggle around and move. So it should be okay, but I'm going to check it. And with uh, ohmmeter should read in the yeah 25 30 ohm range. That makes perfect sense. So the element is good. Uh, it's disappointing. It's cracked, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, replace it. Uh, I can live with this. I'm not gonna order a third one because uh, we're getting tired of not having an oven. And for this stage of the repair, I. Just prop the uh, prop the unit up on some wooden blocks so I can get access underneath it. Okay, next, uh, remove the one screw underneath that holds the panel covering the lower cook element in place. Okay, that's out of place. And then there's a little uh, there's just a little safety clip over here. Uh, with the obligatory dust bunny and that just gets pulled out okay and at this point the whole thing I believe should slide forward and out okay so you can see uh, wow you can see what we got here uh, there's the bake element uh, I'm not sure if it's screwed in at the back or just at the front here. Um, the connector, it's a very different looking unit. This is the old style. It has a metal frame around it. Apparently they failed and you can, it's not real difficult to see where this one failed. Um, right, well, let's try it with a pair of needle nose. Should be able to get a little more pull on it. Not too concerned about breaking the uh, this element, although I hope they're not that tight going on. Um, oh, both of the wires are white. I don't suppose it really matters. Uh, the shorter one goes to my left here, if that has any bearing. All right, so that is out of the way. Okay, next step should be to uh, remove the two screws on the housing here okay and again I don't know if there are similar screws on the back but I've got the whole thing loose now so yes there are Looks good and toasty. Next, you install the new element, which, with any luck, will fit. Uh, plug toward the front to keep track of which is which. It's not obvious. Um, have it basically in place, uh, plug in 
the two cables and again I'm gonna put them exactly where they were on the old element uh, but I suspect it doesn't matter and once they're in uh, just make sure tuck the cable into place and push and once once that's lined up slide the safety clip through which will hold it in place allowing you to go down to the other end and put in the final screw That's in. And the final alignment is easier to do if you do it with the door off as shown in my previous video. Uh, comes off without tools in seconds. And then basically push, squirm, grunt and groan and get it into place and replace the two screws uh, up here which are gonna take just a little bit, of, little bit of tension to hold them in place so I'm not gonna be able to film it. Can't stand flashing lights. Okay, we are back in power. Now it's a matter of testing the uh, testing it to see if it's going to actually come up to speed. I'm going to punch in 250 because I don't really want that much heat. I'm going to push start lower element is on. Now with most ovens you can look in and you can see the element glowing and this one since it's hidden you can't so I'm gonna cheat I'm gonna use a little infrared thermometer and basically uh, at some point the bottom I can tell you already it's working uh, I've already got a uh, 100 degrees plus or minus on the bottom and at the inside of things obviously way way short of that uh, but again, this uses all three uh, all three elements to preheat the oven, although not with the door open. Uh, so I'm going to close it again. Okay, now you can see it's turned on the uh, the rear element, the one that's used mainly in convection. It'll cycle through the um, the top element and the bottom element, and I'm going to wait till it runs a full cycle on the bottom element, like it's doing right now, uh, and then take another reading on the bottom. You could do that with your fingers. Uh, whoop, my lawyer just suggested that you don't do that. Uh, so, all right, it's run. It's, okay, obviously, uh, it, is, it is working. So, successful, a successful repair of a Kenmore Elite slash Frigidaire it's Kenmore Elite 790 series oven, bottom cook bake element.